All right, what's up guys? And well, yesterday I asked you guys one thing. What did you guys think about Pokemon Scarlet and Violet? Did the performance issue affect your overall gaming experience of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet? And a lot of you guys said yes, but enjoy the game just fine. Uh, one comment that I really appreciate was that Pokemon Let's Go was probably the last game that ran flawlessly. And I never really considered that. I feel Sword and Shield was immune to critique, even though it was a performance issue. Um, basically, the, the argument was as well, short time spent of building the game, and uh, it was their first console game. Yeah, that's the narrative we went with, and Pokemon Scarlet and Violet didn't get the same type of response, which I think is good. But I also think it's unjustified depending on how you want to view it. Now, there are other games that was released as incomplete that got bas well, backlashes. Fallout 76 is one I remember. Cyberpunk is the most recent one. Um, <clears throat> yet Pokemon seems to, even with getting bad reviews from game critics, it seems to be doing just fine. And I feel that's interesting. I like the game critics now actually are able to criticize it. Because that's something I didn't feel was possible with Sword and Shield. Um, Legend of Arches seems to have a pass too, even though it was running poorly. Um, because it was a different type of experience. So it didn't... It, it felt like it didn't have the same type of pressure. Scarlet and Violet, however... Like, everything is off the table. <laughs> we're just like... Now we're gonna talk. <laughs> and here's the thing. By scores alone, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet is now the worst performing Pokemon game by schools. So the bigger question is, is it the worst Pokemon game ever? Absolutely not. <laughs> I really enjoyed it. Um, I'm, I'll be honest and say that. I think the performance issues are bad and I think it's worth criticizing. But I definitely enjoyed it. What didn't I like? Well, I'll be honest here. I didn't enjoy the gym challenges at all and I didn't enjoy Team Star and I definitely got tired of the Titan quests afterwards. I feel those they were running a bit too long. There was clearly a lot of fetch quests to be done and some were more interesting than others. But I kind of liked like the snowboarding stuff. I thought that was fine. But that was really about it. Um, I think the gym challenges really dragged out and I didn't care for them. I honestly didn't and um, the story with Penny and whatnot, whatever, man, whatever. <laughs> so maybe that concept in itself wasn't like the most funniest. But again, if it were in small doses, I don't believe I would have like hated it. But it just is prolonged so long. I oh, it was yes, Jesus. However, the the things that changed my mind because I was I was trying to get done with the game fast to be able to you know upload Wi-Fi bells. But once I came into the end game and the finale, like that is the best end game Pokemon has ever had, and is absolutely one of my personal favorites. Um, it's on my top five of best finales in games. I never expected that from a Pokemon game. I I enjoy my share of Pokemon games, but they are not they're not that prestige games. They're not about that. That's not why I play them. I play for the strategies in the battle. But if they can make me care just for a second then they did that and that effect was so strong that those last two hours were fucking phenomenal the issue with that is that it pissed me off even more and hear me out on this if that part of the game could be so good why couldn't the rest of the game be even close to resembling that I think the game would have benefited heavily for smaller areas like Area Zero, where it still is a big area, but clearly not as big as the whole game itself. Have caves, dungeons, small areas, the ice cliff, the bergs, the mountains, as condensed areas. I think the game would have benefited heavily for that. I, I applaud them for having this mindset of an open world, but it's very clear they aren't being able to pull in that off. <laughs> I think that's the worst part. Um, I saw some apologies saying that, well, the, the Switch can't handle Pokemon games in this scale. I'm like, yes, yes, they can. 
they had issues on 3ds with these type of models is that this is not it i've seen AAA titles like zelda xenogears mario they are they're stuttering some time but it's a rare occasion it's never rare here it's <laughs> i feel like running smoothly is the exception <laughs> So, no, it's more about Game Freak's team not being able to optimize properly to consoles, and it's unfortunate, because I think they would have benefited heavily from, well, waiting another year, or, you know, getting a team that actually knows how to run their own engine. Um, I think that's unfortunate. And one other thing that really, really pissed me off is that after two weeks, they released a patch where it was fixing performance issues, right? The only thing this fixes was the, um, was the exploit bugs, which was basically you can clone your own Pokemon, you could clone your items. They got that away. Thanks, Game Freak. He's not prolonging my EV training anymore. And he didn't fix any other performance issues, so get your priorities straight. Fuck. <laughs> like, that, <laughs> that's bad, right? That's flat out lying. Now, that said, I think this is close to the most perfect Pokemon game I ever played. Um, it isn't my favorite one. Um, unfortunately, those are actually ones that run flawless. But it is very close, and the end game is a massive part of that. I don't believe any Pokemon game, like I said, had that good of an ending ever. Uh, at least not like the build up and the payoff. I that was good. That was genuinely good. Um, but it just, the performance issues to get it with a lack of level scaling that made sense and a fetch quest that felt far too long. Um, there are good things here, but it's, it stumbles on that perfection line. I'm definitely thinking this game would have benefited from another year of not being released and getting properly optimized and maybe even get the game to be more running smoothly. I, I think you can make an open world and still make it linear. Uh, as the game is clearly designed to be linear in in many factors depending on how your bicycle Pokemon can move anyway, so It's a shame. It's a shame really. I mean it But yeah, I'm I'm definitely giving this game like a 7 out of 10. I'm I think it's like I said by far one of the better Pokemon games and um, It is only because of its performance issues that I can't give it a perfect score or not even an 8 um, Pokemon games are supposed to be that, but only that this game came so close of being good for me. It's it's a rare trait. I haven't felt this way since since Oras, I think. That's that's how I feel about it. Um, I'll probably do a photo list sometime. But yeah, that's it. What do you guys feel about this game? Like, did you enjoy it? Did you think it was really bad? Um, was it on par with Legend of Arceus? I know a lot of people like that game. I never got into it, but at the same time, it has a following, so I kind of want to know how that implementation affected you going into this game. So that's it. Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye, guys. Boom!